See, we got the monster snowstorm last night. You can hear the people plowing, blowing out the snow this morning. Um, this is pretty, pretty deep stuff. You can see here, uh, comes up to my waist level. So we're, we're pretty deep here in snow. Fortunately, it's not too cold right now. But uh, hey, I wanted to show you my shirt. Check this out. Pretty cool, huh? And of course, I got a shirt like that in a store called, <laughs> all else, the Spider Store. Anyhow, I wanted to introduce you to a very unusual spider um, called the Tetelina elegans. And uh, before I do that, I want to share with you something that uh, kids here in Michigan do all the time when we get this kind of a snowfall. Uh, they have to go out and make what's called snow angels. So I'm going to go in the backyard, do something a little unusual. Well, maybe not so unusual for me. Uh, I do a lot of strange things, but I'm going to go out in the backyard and make a snow angel uh, for you. Uh, maybe for me as well. Anyway, this particular spider that I'm going to show you is a very unusual one for me. I've only seen one and caught one my whole life. And uh, it's, a, it's a mimicking uh, jumping spider that mimics an ant. And it actually runs with the ants and uh, grabs a few and has some good... It's the only jumping spider of its kind uh, that eats ants. Most spiders hate ants. They have some kind of an acidic quality to them and they don't like to taste them. They will just ignore them. But uh, this particular spider uh, the, the mimics an ant and it likes to eat them. So let's go in the back and make a little snow angel and then we'll enjoy little clips uh, of my unusual catch this summer of this uh, particular jumping spider. So with, let's head back. I'm going to make a snow angel. So you just plop yourself in the snow and make a snow angel. Here's what it looks like. But it's not supposed to be this deep. I know that was pretty unusual. There's another spider I saw this summer that's very unusual. It's called the Tetuli, <laughs> Tetulina elegans. It's like a, you know, it's a jumping spider in the, in the jumping spider species, but it mimics ants. Really cool spider. Let's take a look at it. spider that's even prettier than this sunset or this icicle. I only got a chance to see him for a short time. I left a little tiny hole gap in the lid just for a second. And that little old spider, sharp, fast, clever, found its way out of that little hole and he was gone before I could even get after him. So here's just a few photographs from some photographers to help you appreciate this beautiful iridescent spider. Iridescent even on the legs of the spider. And uh, even though I only had a slight chance to see him, I hope you enjoy these photographs to give you a little bit better idea of the beauty of this iridescent uh, ant mimicking spider. Enjoy the photos.